Yo, what's up, YouTube? What's going on? Guys, I'm so excited to talk to you today because I am going to start out with a new YouTube series, okay? I'm putting COD to the side, the COD creation. It's a little hard, you know, to be honest. So uh, we're gonna put that to the side and we're gonna start out with something new. And I'm, you can see it up here, right here. Pokemon Fire Red. But, 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 we're gonna change it a little bit. We're gonna do a randomizer. Randomizer, random Pokemons, random moves. Your starters are random. The ones that you encounter are random. The trainers are random. Uh, random names, everything. Uh, everything that makes sense will be random. And I will show you how I will do it. So this will first act as a tutorial. And then we'll play a little bit of the game as well. And then I'll make a series of it until I finish. Now, not only am I gonna randomize it, but I'm going to make, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take it up a notch. We're gonna do a, what's called a Nuzlocke. So the Nuzlocke challenge in Pokemon, it ups the difficulty in the game. So Nuzlocke, I'm using this Bulbapedia. It's like Pokemon, like Wikipedia, you know? Anywho, this goes down to the core, what we're actually after and what we're gonna be following through this, through this journey. Me and you and my Pokemon. So with the Nuzlocke challenge, basically increase the difficulty, as I mentioned, there's some core rules that no matter what version you have, you should, it, it's not a Nuzlocke, you're not doing this. So if a Pokemon faints in battle, you have to release it. You have to go to your PC, boop, 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 release and say goodbye. You have to, even if they're a level hundred, you have to do it. Uh, rule number two, you can only catch the first Pokemon that you encounter on each route so let's say first encounter i hit the grass and i can't i see like a ratata and i don't want that well that's fine but i can't keep looking around in the grass and find another pokemon i can kill and train that way but i can only catch the first one on each route and that's you know grass or water whatever those are the two core you kind of have to follow the first two it's not a nuzlocke for not doing that but there's some additional things that make it more fun and, and whatever. So let's go over that right now. So optional rules. Uh, here, here we are right here. Other near universally used rules include first one, you must nickname all of your Pokemon. That's to give you that, you know, that nice relationship connection. You know, they're not just a Pidgey, a one in a million Pidgeys. This one is, I don't know, P Piggy, you know, whatever. Is you can you can't like trade another game, you know that doesn't count. Uh, it's got to be all natural either through the game or uh, by catching them in routes. That's the only way that you can obtain Pokemon. Also, just like non-playable characters will sometimes give you Pokemon. Those are fair game. Three, um, you can't do save slates. Uh, save states you have to just play it through obviously you save but you can't quit out and then save again to get back to that part you have to once a pokemon dies or once something goes wrong you have to deal with the consequences you can't be saving and, and, and resetting to get back to where you were um, because that defeats the whole purpose of the difficulty so keep that in mind as well uh, there was one special rule there's one special clause I guess I want to go over. This is what I'm going to follow by. Um, and it is right. Let's see if I can find it really quick. Here we go. Right here. The first wild Pokemon each area rule does not apply in an area until a species or evol evolution line is encountered that, can, that has not been caught yet. So if I catch a Caterpie and I run into a Metapod or a Butterfree, it won't count as my first encounter because I've already caught that series of Pokemon. So keep that in mind. I'm going to use that one. That, everything else though, we're good, we're good. So with that being said, we're gonna go over the next part of the tutorial uh, is setting it up. So personally, I have the copy of Fire Red. I own it, I've purchased it. I think I have two of them actually. So I can legally download a ROM and use that to play. So, the disclosure, technically, legally, you have to own the game if you want to download a ROM. So, uh, this is what we're gonna do. First, I'm playing on my computer. You can obviously just do this, you can play Nuzlocke, you can't do a ra random randomizer, but you can do Nuzlocke on a regular game. Um, 
but yeah, here I'm going to show you uh, kind of what I did to just, just make it easy because when I tried doing this, it was so hard, like trying to like figure out what programs, where to buy it, where, and where to get the downloads for the emulators, the ROMs, whatever. So uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lay it down, put it in the bio, I'm going to put in the information in the bio below so then you guys can just click, 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 boom. Hey, emulator, we're going to go to muparadise.me and we're going to go ahead to the, the menu over here to the left we're going to click em, emulators selection or section excuse me and we're going to scroll down to where we want which is Game Boy Advanced and we are going to click on uh, I want it on Windows boom there's a whole list I personally chose MGBA and it works great so click there boom download you choose a size uh, how many bits whatever and um, download like that. Next, we're gonna go to emulatorgames.net. That's right, I, I just felt this one was better. I bet you could find, you could get it on MU Paradise as well, the ROM, but uh, this, this was more, this was easier for me. So anyways, right here, uh, click on the fire red, copy and save, boom, easy. Next, you're going to Google Universal Pokemon Game Randomizer. Up top in the, uh, you know, in the URL, it's pokehacks.dabomstew.com slash randomizer. Links in the bio. Link, links below, you know. Uh, go there if you really need it. But anyways, this is the program that's actually going to take your ROM and then scramble it. Um, and it's easy. It's so cool. So anyways, downloads, download it. And uh, then you just need to run it really quick we're gonna go through all of the options randomizer options just to make it as clear as and quick as possible here just so you you can copy and replicate what i'm doing if you want um basically though you're gonna open up your rom so show the rom information and here we go we'll start out with the pokemon traits pokemon traits we're gonna leave unchanged i want so pokemon traits we're gonna leave the base statistics unchanged that's essentially just keeping in line that some Pokemon are stronger than others, and so I, I'm, I'm going to keep that as is. Um, Pokemon abilities, we're going to randomize those. We're going to allow Wonder Guard, follow evolutions, and trapping, and we're going to ban trapping abilities and negative abilities. Um, when you're going through this, all you have to do is hover over each one, by the way, and it'll give you the definition, you know, what is it? Um, Pokemon types, I'm going to leave those unchanged because I want, again, a Charmander to be a fire type. I don't want a Charmander to be a water type and kind of screw everything up and I'm going to have to be checking their stats every single second because um, I have a base idea of Pokemon, but I don't, so I'd, I'd rather keep that unchanged. Uh, Pokemon Revolutions, I do want it to be unchanged. Um, Sorry, and also going back to Pokemon base statistics, I'm gonna click on the standardized experience curves. Basically, it just allows leveling up a little bit quicker, so there's gonna be a little bit less grinding in this game, which, I mean, everyone can agree, that's good. <laughs> you know, there's nothing like grinding a game, but no. And then over here, on back to Pokemon evolutions, we're gonna do change in possible evos. Uh, basically, it's like from trades. We're gonna go ahead and just make sure we can always evolve fully so our Gengars our uh, golems you know those uh, I'm gonna uh, leave make evolutions easier unchecked so starter Pokemon I want um, random completely so I could get a legendary Pokemon I could get you know something not legendary Random my starter held items. We're gonna ban the bad items. Um, we're gonna the static Pokemon. Those are Pokemon that are given to you. Those are gonna be random completely. And we're gonna do randomize given uh, Pokemon only. Sorry, we'll do both requested and given. We'll just have it be randomized. There's some in-game trades, I think. And that's what that's saying. Uh, we we'll do randomized items as well. Uh, moves and move sets. Um, we're gonna leave all the moves the same. But the Pokemon move sets are going to be random completely. This is kind of a fun one. The metronome only. I think that just means like your Pokemon just has metronome. Metronome's a random attack. But we're not going to do that. Uh, every Pokemon starts with four moves. 
and we'll leave the damage stuff around. Trainer Pokemon. So, random. Rivals carry the starter through the game. Um, no early Wonder Guard. Um, I think this is, can kind of be broken if it's too early, if you get it too early. So, randomize the trainer names, randomize trainer class names. <clears throat> okay, wild Pokemon. Uh, we're going to do that random, means there's no limit to how many Pokemon can appear in a specific area, which will give you a lot of, of, a lot of Pokemon. Um, it's kind of, yeah, anyways, we're going to... We're going to do the randomly held items as well, ban the bad items. TM, HM, Tutors, those are going to be random. Um, yeah, we're going to do random, and then TM compatibility, HM compatibility, we're going to do random, which is 50-50. Same with the, uh, the tutor, so random, random. Okay. Field items, random, ban the bad ones. Fast tags, running shoes indoors. National decks, cat randomized catching tutorial. And that's it. And then you click on randomize save. What's left is simple enough, load up the ROM. Shrink me down. Skirt. And file, load ROM, bop. Here we are, boys. There it is. The ROM. So we'll get started from here. So I'm gonna end the YouTube, actually, yeah, I'm gonna end the YouTube video here. I'm just gonna call it um, as it is. This is the tutorial to set it up, how I set it up. And uh, starting next video, that will be, <clears throat> that will be the Fire Red Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. Let's go. Woo. See ya.